Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Stack channel. So today we are trying to explore one more new topic on the Excel automations. Now let me show the input how it looks like and how what I'm expecting I will show you. So this is the one of the example Excel file. So under the working sheet and when you check here I have the two columns. So which is something about serial number and having the fruits. So here what I mean so I want to do very simple. So when apples equals to having the fruit is apple then I need to update the one. Okay, when it is banana, then I want to update zero. So similar way, I want to update all these things. Okay, now how we can update these things? We can check in the SAP code. So let's go back to the Canva. So let's go back. So if you want to use this Excel, so we need some Excel activities. So just go here. And the first thing is we need the Excel instance. So let me find that instance where it is there. Okay, open Excel instance. So after this, we need um, uh, open workbook so let me take this uh, workbook so i think it's having upside yeah open workbook so i'm taking this open workbook and i need this close workbook as well so let me take this close workbook as well right now and after this i need save workbook so i'm taking uh, all activities at once what i required so because uh, again i need to scroll and check that activities uh, where it is there and once i open this workbook i need to read this data so for that we are using get cells uh, activity is there so i'm taking this get cells activities okay now everything is done so i'm closing this excel file okay let it be we'll close later so now i need this path so i'm just copying this path copy as path and moving back to this canva and updating this the path so this is completed after the next step what we need i need to read that cells so by defaultly, uh, when I open this one, this worksheet is automatically activated. So I'm not activating again the sheet. Okay, if you want, you can add uh, use that activity and you can activate the specific workbook. So now I'm not doing that activity, just I am reading this data. So this is my data, A1 is to B10. So I need to read that data. So I'm reading this data, A1 is to B10. Okay, so it read the data and store into one variable. So just go this output of this and we can see this written values or else you can update the what are the values, uh, I mean, what are the variable you required, you can add that variable. Okay, now this is done. And next I want to use this for loop. So in this for loop only, I can able to find that whether the column has having the bananas or a column having the apples. So I will find and update the value. So just go here and I'm taking this for each loop. So this is a loop which I'm using here and here i want to look which data i want to look i need to look this uh, step 3 data so just uh, click here and you can see this step 3 data so this is the written values okay after this i want to check this whether the particular cell having the data or not so for that what i am using now i am using this condition so if you type here if it won't come just you need to type this condition in this condition we are going to update uh, values from the for each so when you go and check for each, you can see the two things are there. So current member. So when while looping this one now, so for example, if you have A to Z alphabets, so in the current member, it will store A first time and second loop, it will store B, C and so on. It will store. So similar way here, it will store this apples, bananas like that, it will store. I will show you that as well. Okay, now what I'm updating. So I'm updating here, just edit current member of zero. So when you check zero, these are the index. So for example, zero is the serial number index and B is the fruits index. So now which index we need? So we need index for the B. Okay, then just go here and update the one. That's it. So just I want to show that data. That's I don't want to do anything. That's it. So just I will save this expression or so already we have this condition. Now. So you can just update this condition. For example, we are considered this apple. So apple as nothing but as a, it should update one okay save expression and if you want to one more condition i will show that as well so once it is done then what we need to do we need to update this value so updating the value what we see so we use set cells set cells we are using so just i will take here okay, i will remove and i will type excel i will go scroll down here we can use one activity which we call set cells is there where is this push okay set value cells just drag and drop and here we need to update that value so here range and i already i told you so from this here we are getting the two things one is the index and another is the current number so in this index it will show 0 1 2 3 and so on okay i will go here 
and I need to update the value at column C, C plus index. Let me type here index plus one. So index will start from zero now. So it looping one by one by one, like like that it will appear. So just click on the check and save this. Okay. Later, if you if it is something is going wrong, we can check that as well. And here we need to update the value as for apple is one. Okay, this is done. And if I want to add one more condition, don't drag an if condition again. For example, I will show you here. Uh, let me show that condition. Okay, don't drag uh, again this condition. Okay, if you drag this one again, it will got some again it can, like that. It's coming. It's not that much looks good, but it's fine. Okay, instead of that, what we need to do, just click here, and you can see this add condition. You can add one more condition. So anyway, it's the same thing, but when you look wise, it's something is bit uh, different. Now go inside and cap dot current member of one equals to bananas. So just I will go here and I will copy this name. So when it is bananas, what I need to I need to update this value again. So just duplicate it and drag and drop here. For everything you can go and drag from not from the here you can some things are if you repeatable you can just right click duplicate and you can work it around and i need to update the value as zico that's it okay now this is done so next what we need to do so we just run this automation before running so we can check what type of things are coming so just i'm disabling this part as of now temporary purpose so we need to understand i mean logic everything is done but before logic we need to understand how it is working that's important now so just save this and i will take one message box i will take one message blog message okay here i will update current member let me update current member of zero and current member of one just check every time so you, it will give this uh, green color thing then it's done so just click on that save and everything is done now i'm just running this automation we'll check how the data is flow how the things are working we need to understand here so just uh, we need to wait a couple of seconds the automation will execute and we'll get output how it looks like we'll show that output as well Okay, now it's got completed and why it's opening is here we need to release this uh, excel instance as well then only it will close this right now we will understand here so when you check here test console so this is a serial number fruits so on the first thing we have this serial number and fruits next apple one row number one like that all are coming here so like this it will come and when you go and check here get cell values so what is this so this is a collection so when you check here okay if you want to check that get i mean just click here and we can see this output so in the tester you can see this output and we can see this written values as a list it's a combination of 10 elements so total in the list is a 10 elements under this we have this sub elements again serial number fruits when i go here one app is like this it's coming okay now you got now how we can loop this and what type of data is coming here now just remove this and go inside here so let me enable this and already we have provide this condition as well so now no need to do anything so just i need to kill this uh, application hey folks immediate okay excel has been uh, closed now i'm running this automation before running automation i need to put one more here na? excel instance let me update that close excel instance or release excel instance is there so just go here and we can see this close excel instance so then only it will close end to end excel and uh, there is no uh, back and open nothing else it, it will just close it completely so now we'll check this one whether it is working fine or not so let me click on the test and we'll wait a couple of seconds and we'll check that so now uh, it's opening this excel instance and it opened okay okay it's fine but it, it's updated the value in somewhere else we'll check why it's updating like that where we missed so when you check here 
So these are all having in different different way. Okay, it's updating after this when you see it, 10. Okay, it's 10. So every time it's updating in different different way. So why uh, it's because uh, when you check here, once you come to this set values, uh, here one small mistake which happens. So when you see this index plus uh, one, how it's considering now, uh, it's considering like a zero one. After this, what we are getting, I mean, just to consider the like that. And after this, when it is come one zero, first index, second index, two one, like that is considering. So that's why we are able, uh, we can see this output like this. Let me show you the output. So when you check is, this is the 11, first time. For first time, 0, 1, it will come, but there we are not updating any data. Next time, index will come 1 plus 1. It's coming as 11. And after this, it's coming as a 21, 31, and so on. So that's why you are not get the data properly. I will show you how we can update this data properly. So let me close this Excel file and back to this Canva. Okay, just remove this entire the stuff and just put this braces. I mean, this uh, brackets. Once you put this bracket, this enter it considered as a one element. Uh, might be the one, zero plus one equals to one. This one plus one equals to two, like that it will considering. So this step, uh, which we missed here, uh, while running this, uh, uh, I mean, while developing, this is a common mistake. So just aware of these things. So just click on that check. If you're getting something error, then it's a mistake. Right now, it's there is no errors. Just click on that save. And after this, go to here and do the same step here as well. So just update this open and close brackets now this is done i will show this output here uh, so when you check this uh, data is the blank and i will just run this automation and we can see this output so just run for one more time and this time you can see this output so that is the one mistake uh, basically so when you are going that uh, you, you can learn these all these things so one by one if you practice more uh, you will get one now you can see this all the things are updating one by one Okay, let me open this Excel file and we can see this. So when I said apples, it should be one. When I say bananas, it should be the zero. Similar way, all the stuff has been updated. So like this, we can update. This is a one of the just a very, very sample case. So when you go in deep, we have the lot of the things are there and this is working. And right now we'll do one thing, one sample uh, thing. We'll update some thousands of rows. What will happen? We'll see. So just I want to check whether uh, it will work very fast or uh, it will slow or how just i will update it till uh, some 10000 rows i want to see this forget about the column 1 2 like that just i'm updating this now i will copy this how much time it will take i want to see this now. this is just a random thing if you want you can skip this video no issues so just i want to check this so now around i given some this is around 40. so let me remove this and 40 3 2 1 so let's go here 40 3 2 1 Forty three two one. Okay, just save, and I'm running this automation. We'll see now. It will work very fast. Or how much time it will take? We'll check. So it started running. Okay, now it's updating one by one. Okay, why it's got closed? P4323, but it's updated only for the C10. What about others? Okay, I give an A1 is to B4. Okay, let me do one thing. I will go and update column this as well. We'll update the same thing. Okay, running one more time again.
okay it's not open now it will run okay now it's running so maybe issue with this uh, serial number here okay now it's running very fast it's running so just we need to check how much time and now it's 80 iteration i think it will take some around uh, now it's uh, 55 is there so just we'll wait for uh, one or two minutes i think it won't complete in one or two minutes i think anyway uh, it's working fine no issues now i will go and check what happened okay when it, when you, while running this automation when you touch it's got error okay uh we get to know one thing while it is running we don't touch these things okay now anyway it's updating uh not that much fast so that's why we we have this some filters kind of filters uh a lot of the different scenarios are there but anyway uh we got something so it's working fine no issues uh, it will run uh, one by one one by one what is my doubt means for example till here we are able to see after this updating like this or uh, it will update back end so now i i get to know it's updating the back end side so while running this automation not only the this one any automation while running uh don't touch it leave it as it is uh if you touch it will throw the errors so this is a way how we can uh, read the data from the uh, excel file and how we can update the data so still if you have any doubts uh, post in the comment section i will try to help you